Today I'm taking a break from the Q&A to talk about Disney and gaming. This video originally started as a rant, but the last thing the internet needs more of is negativity and pessimism. So while I still plan to talk about what I think Disney is doing wrong when it comes to gaming, I also want to talk about how I think they can fix it. And I think that begins with them buying Ubisoft. My biggest issue with Disney's approach to gaming today is that it's hard to even call it an approach. They're not really doing anything with gaming. It's no secret either. Back in May of 2016, to the surprise of many fans, Disney not only canceled Disney Infinity, but they also announced their plans to back out of video game publishing entirely, and instead depend on licensing out their intellectual property to publishers like EA. As disappointing as this news was, it wasn't bad business. While their consumer products and interactive media division was doing well, it was doing well in spite of their video games, not because of them. Luckily, merchandise revenue from cash cows like Frozen and licensing Star Wars to EA for Battlefront both offset the drop in sales for Disney Infinity. Today, when it comes to Disney and video games, what we get are mostly low-budget mobile games and licensed Star Wars titles from EA. There's also Kingdom Hearts, but let's be real here, it's one series and the last full console release came out 11 years ago. Sometimes I think maybe Disney forgot that Square Enix is even working on it. But in any case, what's the problem? Kingdom Hearts is a great series, and Battlefront games aren't amazing, but they're not really horrible either. And while the mobile stuff is a whole different can of worms, it still has its audience and it makes money. It's all nothing spectacular, but it's safe and reliable. Well, that's the problem. It's safe. This is Disney. This is the company founded on the ideal of taking creative risks. Walt put everything he had on the line to start making animated shorts. He did it again to make Snow White years later, and he did it yet again later on to build Disneyland. Yeah, but that was Walt, he's been dead for a long time now. It doesn't matter. Even in the Eisner era of the company, this trend continued. It was Eisner and Wells who ultimately backed out of working with hotel chains to build new resorts at Disney World themselves because they realized that Disney would do a better job making hotels the Disney way. They stepped out of the shadow of the retail middleman by creating the Disney Store. They stopped licensing characters to cruise lines so that they could form their own and build their own ships. When it comes to doing things the Disney way, Disney excelled at doing it on their own. However, this is the Iger era, and that's not really his style. Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars... Iger is about finding established talent and buying it. And you know what? It works! All three studios are doing really well right now, and it's undeniable that the company's health has improved over the years from this tactic. So never mind doing it on their own. Disney can still do it the Iger way by buying a video game publisher. They can do it by buying Ubisoft. Why Ubisoft? First off, before I get into that, we need to put aside some things. Within the world of hardcore gaming, this company gets a lot of flack. Some of it deserved, and some of it undeserved. Here's the thing. You can complain about the open world tropes and the microtransactions all you want, but what you can't do is deny that they're a pretty successful publisher. Last year they sold $1.7 billion in games and put out 8 titles, with half of them being AAA. Like it or not, there is a market out there that buys and enjoys Ubisoft titles. Now I'm not saying they're perfect, far from it, but that's what makes them a great choice. They're successful enough that there's something there worth buying, but there's enough room for improvement for Disney to fix them and install the Disney way into the company. Ubisoft has a number of successful game franchises in its library. Rainbow Six, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Rayman and Rabbids, Splinter Cell, Prince of Persia. On top of that, they've been known to dabble in more small-scale indie-like games such as Child of Light and Valiant Hearts, and the latest Call of Juarez. These are also properties that Disney could put to use outside of video games. A good Assassin's Creed movie some Rayman cartoons, a Rabbids Disneyland ride. Okay, not that last one. Let's, let's forget I said that last one. They've got enough going for them that if Disney wanted, they could just let Ubisoft operate normally and still be pretty well off. However, why do that when you can combine some of Ubisoft's 33 game studios with Disney's varied IP? Imagine more fleshed out AAA Marvel games based on not only the Avengers, but individual heroes. Or maybe the Netflix characters like Jessica Jones and Daredevil. How about games based on Pixar films that are built in partnership with Pixar themselves? Not just cheap tie-ins, but in-depth experiences. Or maybe a really good Wreck-It Ralph metagame or a Moana title that plays like a Zelda game. What about a AAA Pirates of the Caribbean RPG? 
or AAA Guardians of the Galaxy sci-fi RPG similar to Mass Effect. You know, the good ones. Imagine a game like Rayman, but based on the latest Mickey Mouse shorts and its art style. These are the kind of experiences we're missing out on as a result of Disney just focusing their gaming efforts on mobile and Star Wars games. I get why they're doing it. On paper, it makes sense. It's safe, and it makes for better earning calls. But that's not what made Disney into the company it is today. They're knocking it out of the park with films, and they've got some amazing stuff lined up with the theme parks. It's time for them to stop being so timid and put that talent and effort into video games. What do you think? What should Disney do on the video game front? More specifically, what kind of Disney video games would you like to see get made? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to leave any questions for future Q&A videos down there as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.